everybody, this is Praxis with a quick tip about how to kill ticks when you're out in the wilderness. I know when I'm at home, oftentimes, and they come into the house on me or on river or something like that, I'll take them and I have a little jar filled with permethrin and water and I'll pop them in there and that will, you know, kill them that way. But when I'm out in the wilderness, sometimes it can be a little difficult. You can't, it's hard to really kind of squish them between your fingers a lot of times because they just, you know, they don't get squished. They, you know, you squeeze them as hard as you can and then they just kind of keep walking off. I know some people can kind of rip at them, but you know, a lot of people don't enjoy doing that kind of thing. A quick and easy way of getting rid of them so you're not just, you know, catch, release, and then having them come back and, you know, attach onto you later is to take uh, the tick, put it onto a large rock surface or, you know, just a you know, reasonably large rock, then take a smaller rock and you use the smaller rock to crush them. It works better than you're uh, trying to do it with your fingers because neither of the rocks are going to be deforming when you're, you're pushing down on them. Uh, only, the only thing that's going to deform is the tick itself and it uh, seems like a fairly quick way, humanitarian way, of killing something so it's not like unduly causing it to suffer. It's bang, done, it's dead. So that's it. I, I know that's probably not going to come as news to a lot of you guys, but I know I've mentioned this to other people while I've been out in the woods and I've done it and people have said, oh, that's kind of neat. I never thought of doing that. So if you've never thought of doing that, that's a quick, easy way that seems like it's the mo one of the more humane ways for the tick itself. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.